Can you read that? Yes. Okay. okay. Imagine yourself watching someone run at you as fast as they can with this stick. It has this solid rubber ball in it, and you know that they can throw this ball over 100 miles an hour. That's what a goalie has to deal with every time he steps out onto that lacrosse field. It's a bit intimidating. I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the history, uh, basics, and basic rules of lacrosse. Now, lacrosse was rooted way back to the Native Americans when we first came back here. Um, they played it to solve conflicts between tribes, um, uh, to heal the sick, and to uh, make strong and valiant, fast <coughs> soldiers. Um, the fields and the rules back then, what we saw ranged from many, many different rules. Uh, all, each tribe had their own different set of rules. Um, men ranged from 100 up to 1,000 uh, people on each team. And the field ranged from 500 yards up to 5 miles and could last for days on end. Um, it was um, in the Native American religious game, um, they, they called it the creator's game. Um, in 1867, a Canadian dentist by the name of W. George Beers uh, standardized the game rules and this game field. Um, now, as you can see, it's 110 yards. This is a high school field. It's 110 yards uh, long, 60 yards wide. Um, you got your attack area, your defensive area, and the midfield. Uh, this is where you face off. And face off, sir, you have to have your pocket tucked in. The ball's right here. Another guy's in front of you, and you have to. You can't touch your head. You can either clamp down and slide 20 your wingmen and your wingmen are about 15 yards out right here and they have to be behind these lines right here and you flip it out to one of your wingmen and they can take off and then uh, the ball has been established with who's control and uh, at all times there must be four defenders on the defensive area including the goalie it doesn't matter who's down there it doesn't have to be a defender um, but there has to be four people down there at all times. Defenders usually use a six-foot pole, and um, so that's and the crease. The goalie is the only one allowed in this little circle. It's about a five-yard width circle, and the goalie is the only one allowed in there. And if like an attackman steps in there, some automatic foul goes the other way. So. To get started, you do need a stick. This is one of the most important things you need. You get a stick, a ball, you have your helmet, your gloves, arm guards, and a chest protector. That's all you have. And I strongly advise using a cup for the guys. It's very, very important. Um, but that's kind of the stuff you need. Um, they're super expensive. The helmet's 100 bucks. This stick. The head was 75 and the shaft was 110, so it can get pretty expensive. Um, basic skills you're going to need for lacrosse is, of course, passing and catching. And then you have your cradle. And the cradle is to help stabilize the ball. So when defenders come up to poke check or slap check or <coughs> hit you in the stick, it stays pretty stable in there. Um, then you have your scooping, that which is when the ball's on the ground, you come. You scoop it up and you come into your cradle. Uh, then you have your screening, which is basic. You stand in front of someone while your guy runs around you. Uh, you got your wrap check, which is when someone's on a breakaway, you run down right behind them and you swing your stick as hard as you can and try to wrap around and smack their hands or their stick. Um, you also got a slap or poke check, a little poke check. Which is if you're facing someone, you hit them in the chest, the arms, the hands, the stick. Just try to whack the ball loose. Um, you also got 
uh, your slap check, which is if they run across you, you and slap them in the hands and stick. And when you slap check, you have to uh, make sure you hit them in the hands and the stick. Um, so those are the basic rules um, or skills that you're going to need. Uh, the rules is you can't slash. And slash is a vicious contact of like swinging at someone's arms. You can slap their hands and their stick as much as you want and as hard as you want, but if it contacts their arms, it's a slash. Um, you got your cross check, which is checking someone without your hands together. You can check someone with their hands, but a cross check is just like this, and that usually hits you right here, and it slides up, and it can hit your throat and your jaw. And then you got your tripping, the illegal body checks. Um, illegal body checks is hitting someone any, anywhere outside of five yards from the ball. So, in conclusion, um, I hope I've given you some basic knowledge of the game of lacrosse, um, the history, how to play it, the field, and uh, I hope you guys can go watch something and enjoy it as much as I do.